Hello and welcome. Today, we are delving into a topic that, much like the structures we design, forms the backbone of our professional existence, engineering ethics. It's a subject that invites us to reflect deeply on our roles, not just as innovators and builders, but as stewards of trust and integrity in a constantly evolving world. In our journey as engineers, we merge imagination with reality, bringing forth solutions that shape the world. But intertwined with our technical pursuits are ethical considerations, moral compasses that guide our actions and decisions. It's not just about what we create, but how we create it, and the principles we uphold in the process. So, let's embark on this enlightening journey together, exploring the ethical dimensions that elevate our profession. Let's engage in a dialogue that's both reflective and forward-thinking, fostering a shared understanding and commitment to the values that sustain our work and our community. Navigating the terrain of engineering ethics, the right to privacy stands out as a paramount concern, particularly for those working in the medical sector. Here, access to patient information is tightly controlled, reflecting the overarching value placed on confidentiality between patient and doctor. Yet, the need for this information by engineers is often crucial, creating a significant ethical dilemma. Consider the instance where an understanding of a patient's experience with cancer pain can lead to the development of more effective and empathetic products. Here, the disclosure of private, sensitive information becomes a moral battleground, with engineers wrestling with the balance between innovation and individual privacy. Furthermore, engineers routinely enter non-disclosure agreements, or NDAs, to protect sensitive information, adding another layer to the ethical conundrum. Disclosing information covered by an NDA can lead to a breach of trust and contractual violation, while withholding can result in the loss of clientele and potentially facilitate the creation of flawed products due to the absence of complete information. In today's world where information is predominantly stored on computers, the potential for data breaches and unauthorized access raises the stakes in the privacy debate. For companies, it's not just about warding off hacks but also managing the aftermath, especially when dealing with individuals who were unaware of their data being stored. This environment creates a significant challenge for engineers, demanding more than mere adherence to contractual obligations. It necessitates a deep understanding and commitment to ethical standards and moral values, balanced with professional responsibilities and the pursuit of innovation. In this landscape, right to privacy becomes a nuanced element requiring careful consideration and respect for individual privacy, coupled with a dedication to progress and advancement in the field of engineering. It's about creating a synergistic environment where respect for individual privacy and the pursuit of innovative solutions coexist harmoniously, propelling the engineering field forward while maintaining the sanctity of personal information. Addressing the right to privacy is not just about navigating legal and contractual frameworks, it's about embedding moral and ethical values at the core of engineering practices. It's about fostering an environment where the principles of privacy are integral to the engineering ethos, ensuring a future where innovation and ethics walk hand in hand. The pervasive issue of sexual harassment is a stark reality in the engineering field, with studies revealing that between 20 to 50 percent of women in engineering colleges have experienced it, a trend that often continues as they transition into the workforce. The repercussions of sexual harassment are multifold. Fear of reprisals and impact on their career trajectory make it incredibly challenging for victims to come forward and report their experiences. The sad truth is that numerous women have faced detrimental consequences like termination or unfavorable reassignment post-disclosure. While companies often have mechanisms in place to address harassment, these internal processes sometimes hinder a thorough examination of the prevailing policies and workplace culture that may inadvertently foster harassment. The difficulty in substantiating claims, especially in scenarios lacking witnesses, forces companies to navigate murky waters and make decisions on often limited evidence. To counter these inherent difficulties, some companies opt for third-party entities to conduct investigations, albeit at the risk of potential information leaks, making private and distressing experiences public inadvertently. It's crucial to acknowledge that men, too, can be victims of harassment with their narratives often sidelined due to prevalent gender biases and power dynamics. 
the imperative for companies is to establish comprehensive anti-harassment policies that are inclusive of the experiences of both men and women. However, in addressing these sensitive issues, there is a need for caution and balance. Overemphasis on the problem can inadvertently cause distress to victims and deflect focus from constructive solutions to the crisis. Confronting sexual harassment requires more than just reactive measures, it demands a proactive, solution-oriented approach that fosters a respectful and inclusive environment. Addressing the concerns of both men and women while focusing on preventive strategies and solutions, thereby ensuring a harmonious and equitable workplace. The issue of racial discrimination has long shadowed the engineering sector, often recognized as a predominantly white space. Surveys, such as one conducted in 2019, reveal that students of color within engineering disciplines often face microaggressions and explicit racist behavior, elucidating the endemic nature of racial bias within the sector. Racial discrimination can manifest in various forms, ranging from overt actions to more subtle, insidious behaviors, like unwarranted interruptions or unnecessary challenges to ideas presented by professionals of color. Addressing racial discrimination is, without a doubt, complex, mirroring the challenges in addressing sexual harassment, primarily due to the inability of companies to introspectively assess their cultures. When racial discrimination is identified, it necessitates decisive action from companies, who must deliberate upon the appropriate corrective measures, including the potential termination of the offending employee. Following this, strategies to prevent reoccurrences must be developed and implemented with caution. Racial sensitivity programs, although well-intentioned, can unintentionally marginalize BIPOC individuals, focusing more on their plight rather than their accomplishments and contributions. Furthermore, while the right to freedom of speech is ardently defended by many engineering companies, Striking the right balance between this fundamental right and the well-being of BIPOC employees is paramount. Thus, it's crucial that the dialogue surrounding racial discrimination shifts from merely addressing the blatant instances to fostering an environment that is inclusive, respects diversity, and encourages equitable participation, ultimately contributing to a more enriched and harmonious workplace. In the world of engineering, a professional hierarchy is inherently woven into its structure, creating an environment where junior employees often find themselves hesitating to challenge or contradict their superiors. This hierarchical dynamic can, at times, result in an imbalance, impacting the efficacy of communication and the expression of contrasting ideas or perspectives within the workplace. For instance, when a young employee discerns a mistake made by their superior, the innate expectation is to voice this observation, to correct the error and ensure the project's integrity. However, the fear of repercussions, of jeopardizing one's position, often stifles such necessary interventions, leading to unresolved issues and suboptimal outcomes. Even when junior employees muster the courage to speak up, the hierarchical structure can impede the receptivity of their superiors, with conversations abruptly halted and concerns dismissed. In extreme cases, this dynamic can escalate to instances where the work of junior employees is appropriated by their superiors without due acknowledgement, creating ethical and legal complications around intellectual property rights and credit attribution. Such instances emphasize the imperative need for organizations to scrutinize and address the influences of professional hierarchies, ensuring a transparent, equitable, and conducive environment that encourages open dialogue and mutual respect across all levels. By fostering a culture that values each individual's contribution and perspective, we can facilitate not only ethical interactions but also drive innovation and collective progress within the field of engineering. Engineers play a pivotal role in projects with profound environmental impacts, a responsibility that underscores the importance of environmental justice within the profession. For instance, the designing of oil wells is a crucial task, enabling the extraction of fuels essential for transportation and heating, yet it is fraught with substantial environmental repercussions. Oil wells, while integral to modern living, pose severe risk to land and water resources, and the combustion of oil is a significant contributor to climate change and its ensuing natural disasters. 
This delicate balance underscores the ethical considerations inherent in engineering projects and the vital importance of sustainable practices and environmental stewardship. The use of pipelines for oil transportation presents additional concerns, with the potential to contaminate land and water, disrupt ecosystems, and impact animal habitats. The placement of these pipelines often intersects with the lands of indigenous communities, infringing upon their rights and impacting their ways of life, raising serious questions about environmental justice and the ethical responsibilities of engineers. The pursuit of environmental justice within engineering necessitates a thoughtful and balanced approach to project development, ensuring the responsible use of natural resources, the protection of vulnerable communities, and the preservation of ecological balance. It calls for a commitment to ethical and sustainable practices, and a continual reflection on the societal and environmental implications of engineering endeavors. Engineers navigate a complex landscape laden with ethical considerations, spanning from the right to privacy, confronting sexual and racial harassment, navigating professional hierarchies, to upholding environmental justice. The challenges posed by these ethical dilemmas require a comprehensive and nuanced approach, balancing professional responsibilities with moral integrity and societal welfare. In addressing these issues proactively, we can elevate the field of engineering to new heights, ensuring it remains a force for positive change, innovation, and the betterment of society at large.